What's good peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. So as expected, Gennady Golovkin gets the win against Steve Rolls. There was no major consecutive upset at Madison Square Garden. He gets the win via a um, vicious fourth round KO. Um, he didn't look great, did he? Uh, let's be honest. And, you know, I'm a Golovkin fan. I'll say it how it is. He, he didn't look great. I don't know if it's a combination of him looking old and slow and rusty and maybe trying out things uh, that Jonathan Banks has kind of put in place or giving credit to Steve Rolls, who probably looks a bit better than we expected. Um, I think it might be the latter. I, I think it might just be a case of him just getting old, getting old and anyone that has a bit of movement, making him look a bit silly. Because there were times there when Steve Rolls was just kind of pot shotting and landing shots, like landing shots easily as well and making GGG miss a bit. And I was thinking, God, Steve Rolls is... Not even a D-level fighter, right? I mean, Steve Rolls isn't a B-level or a guy that's maybe fringe world level. He isn't that. And he was landing a couple of big shots. There is this weird theory, though, I have with Golovkin where it's almost like he is so confident in his ability to absorb punches, obviously because he's never been down, never been hurt in a fight, really. So he's so confident in his ability to absorb punches and his chin that it's almost like, you know what, I can take a couple to land my own. And I felt like that almost got Steve Rolls and his false pretense that, you know, I've, I've got a chance here. Rather than sticking to his game plan, which was jab and move, you heard his corner just saying jab, move, jab, move. But Steve Rolls almost, at times, I felt like because of that early success, wanted to stay in the pocket and land big shots. And in the end, that was his undoing. It's okay at Steve Rolls' level to fight the way he fights, right? At that level where he's been fighting, which is very, very low, um, it's all right. But can you do what you were doing for 12 rounds against an elite boxer that, regardless of the punches that you've thrown, is walking through your punches and walking you down. That must be so demoralizing. Uh, even if you have never boxed before, I'm sure most people have had a, a little fight in the schoolyard or whatever. Imagine landing your best shots, best shots, and that guy just literally just wiping them off and just saying, come on. That must be um, demoralizing. And that's what Golovkin does to you, right? He's done that to nearly every person he's fought, apart from Canelo. Canelo is the only one that hasn't really backed up. Most other fighters, including Danny Jacobs in that fight, kind of back up a bit. And it must be like, whoa, Canelo is the only one that hasn't done it. Um, I, I don't know how much credit to give Golovkin for the stoppage. Again, we are talking about him fighting Steve Rolls. We're not talking about him fighting anyone elite in the middleweight division. So I do find it um, difficult when he says he wants Canelo next. Uh, I mean... Canelo just came off a win against Danny Jacobs and you've just come off a win against Steve Rolls. I, I don't see how you deserve it, if I'm honest with you. I mean, I would prefer, honestly, I think the deserving team are the winner of Demetrius Andrade Selecki. I think those guys are both two top 10 middleweights. They deserve it. Does Golovkin deserve it after Steve Rolls? Not for me. Not for me. I would like to see him fight the winner of Andrade Selecki. You can't go from Steve Rolls to Canelo. Yes, I get that the first two fights were close and they could have gone his way and I think they should have gone his way. But regardless, you can't go from that to that. I think the worry for GGG and maybe even Jonathan Banks is watching that, you do feel like an experienced mover, so someone like an Andrade, Southpaw, that can move, punch and box a bit, could beat Golovkin. He's there for the taking. I mean, Steve Rose just didn't have the engine or experience to go 10 or 12 rounds. Someone that has been the distance before, someone with the experience, could pot shot Golovkin to a points decision. He, he really could. I mean, Danny Jacobs nearly did it. Danny Jacobs nearly did it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to see it again because I think it's a fantastic fight. But now I'm more than ever confident that Canelo would beat him. Like before, I was like, now though, Golovkin getting older... Um, again, looking at the shots that he shipped yesterday, I just feel like Canelo right now is just turning into something very, very special. And I don't think this Golovkin can beat him. Not this Golovkin. Golovkin, David Lemieux Golovkin? Yeah. This Golovkin? No. He's gone a lot slower. I've watched every single Golovkin fight um, since he fought um, Protska. Is it Protska? Back in the day. And um, he has slowed down tremendously. And, I, and Jonathan Banks, who I think is a good trainer, you, you can't add speed to it, right? You, you can't add speed to someone that has been in the wars that Golovkin's been in. 
and he's, what, 37. I mean, you can get him to do things a bit better, but I think in order to beat Canelo, he needs speed because we know he ain't knocking out Canelo. He isn't. Although, with that shot that he landed against Steve Rolls, which I think should be an illegal shot, by the way, there's something about it which I don't know. I've never seen that before. He done it against Rubio, and it, it completely messes up your equilibrium. Um, it's a weird shot. It's almost like a hook, but it's, it's a strange shot on the temple. Um, that kind of shot, I think, could knock out anyone just because I think your equilibrium would be completely off. So if he lands that against Canelo, then obviously Canelo's in trouble. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what Golovkin does. I, I, again, I see what he wants. I, I don't think it's for the money anymore because he'd be taking low money for this one. But um, is he deserving of it? No, I don't, I don't think you get to a world title shot against Canelo after beating Steve Rolls. I, I don't. I mean, again, you beat a Derevchenko, you beat a Charlo, you beat um, even a Selecki or an Andrade, then yeah, fair enough. You get the guy that clearly is number one in the division right now, but you don't get it after Steve Rolls. You really don't. Um, what do you guys think? What did you guys think of the performance? Try and remove the knockdown from your mind. What did you guys think of the rest of the performance? What would you grade it as? I mean, I'd grade it as um, a C minus. I wasn't impressed at all. He tried to go to the body a bit, but just wasn't impressed. Um, I think the realisation is set in me now that I'm not going to see the Golovkin that beat up Macklin, Murray and Lemu. That guy's gone. Kurt Stevens, Rosado. This is a new Golovkin that is a lot older, but clearly still has the power. But again, I don't think that power is enough against Canelo. Anyone else in the division? Yes. Canelo? Not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.